Winery at Seven Springs Farm. Hi, um, we're Harvest Host members and we're wondering if you have uh, room for us tonight. We do. Okay. Do you know about what time you'd be getting in? Um, probably between four and five. All right, well, we'll see you then. If you have any problems, then give us a call. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh-huh, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hey guys, welcome to the video. In this video, we're telling you the untold truths about staying at a Harvest House. We're here at Seven uh, Springs Farm, and it was a great place to stay, but there are some things that you need to know about when you come to an Harvest House that isn't in all everybody else's videos. So stay tuned, and we'll roll that beginning footage right now. spending the night at a harvest house and we are at the winery at Seven Springs Farm. It is outside of Maynard's, Maynardsville in Tennessee and so far it seems nice. We went in there and had uh, a nice dinner. They had pizzas and other things on the menu, paninis and other stuff and it was, it was good. It was a real good pizza. Um, it's the place, the parking area they have for us is on a bit of a slope and so we're not able we're able to get level side to side but we're not going to be able to get level front to back without unhitching and I don't really want to unhitch for the night so we will make do with what we got and getting in here was a little bit difficult there's the entrance that way um, towards where you see that red truck and so we had to pull in and then turn everything around so basically what I had to do is I had to pull forward this way up the hill here and then back down and swing the trailer around over next to that white truck and then pull forward and then back up to where we're parked now so it was a little difficult to get into this spot and that's kind of one of the things I think you got to keep in mind you know you know harvest hosts aren't perfect they're not campgrounds you know, they are businesses and, you know, staying here um, as a guest for the night isn't their primary business. It is something that they do as a secondary. And it's usually done, you know, mostly to drive business to their primary business. In this case, it's a winery. Um, and so you're going to find some difficulties sometimes getting into the sites. They're not always going to be level. You know, you are going to be in a parking lot type area. And... The other thing too is they're not always going to be close to the highway. So in this case, it was about a 25 mile drive from um, Interstate 75 to here. So it was a little bit, and it was a little bit of a challenging drive. I'll show you some video of it. A lot of hairpin turns and such, so it was a little bit difficult. But what you're getting for all of that is you're getting a place like this. You know, you're the only one here. You're out in the country, you know, this is going to be, you know, a lot safer than staying at a Walmart. And, you know, it's just something different. You know, it's boondocking. Um, I, we have stayed at one other harvest host and they did offer electricity. This one uh, doesn't. Um, but that doesn't matter because you're not expecting that. And, you know, hopefully the, a lot of times the business will have something that you like. In this case, you know, we need to eat dinner anyway. so. They were able to serve us a couple nice pizzas, and overall, you know, I think it would be a, it'd be a good place to stay. But you've got to keep in mind, and this is really kind of the truth in Harvest Hosts, you're not staying at a campground, you're not going to get any type of amenities, they're not going to be convenient to the highway, their business isn't your overnight stay, their business is a winery, um, a farm, or something like that. And so you've got to keep that in mind when you come to one of these. Other than that, it looks like it's going to be a nice place to spend the night. And we will check back with you in the morning and, and tell you what we
Seven, the winery at Seven Springs in Maynardsville, Kentucky. And well, what did you think, Diane? Um, it was okay. Just as you know, spend a free evening. It definitely is not right off the highway. And the route we took to get there was, I don't know how many miles, but of hairpin turns and curves. And it definitely um, scared me a little bit <laughs> driving on it. So all in all, like I said, we had a good night's sleep and we had dinner. So for, you know, one night stay, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, you've got to you've got to keep in mind that you know, it, it's you know you're going to a business and their business isn't overnight stays for um, camping, and so you're going to be parked in a parking lot. In our case, our parking lot wasn't all that level; it was on a slope downhill, um, and it was a little bit difficult to get situated in it because we actually had to do a three-point turn to get the trailer and everything into the parking lot and then parked in the direction that we wanted to be in so it'd be easy to leave in the morning. Um, but on the other hand, you know, they do take you to different places that, you know, you wouldn't go to. Right. So, you know, in, in our case, you know, you know, this was a very nice area of, of Tennessee that we've never really been to. And, you know, it's kind of, even though the, the drive was a little uh, um, white knuckled, to say, um, but it was very scenic, and you know, it was something we wouldn't have done otherwise. And when we stayed at the other one, it was it took us to College Station, uh, Texas, and that was an area we hadn't been. And we took advantage of that by going to the uh, Presidential Museum there. Right. So you know, it it was very enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. And like I say, it's free. Other than you, you know, if they have food, you want to patronize. The winery. The business, yeah. You're right, the business. And they're typically wineries or farms and such that mm -hmm. you're going to go to. Right. Um, so we would, I, you know, we would do it again. Um, it's not something that you're going to do, you know, every stop on every trip because I think, you know, you know, it, it takes a little bit of planning to just to be able to swing into a harvest house, you know, knowing that you got to call ahead, make a reservation. Um, make sure they have availability. Make av availability for you and... You also have to get there by a certain time, and so depending on where they are. In our case, you know, we we drove about an hour off the highway to get to this one. So from that perspective, you've got to look at and say, okay, you know, you you, you needed to plan that into your trip. Right, right. But we would definitely do it again, and we're definitely renew our membership. And if you don't have a Harvest Host membership, we will post a referral code in the video. We'll post it right down here and in the um, notes for the video that you can use and get a discount on um, joining Harvest Hosts. So we'd appreciate it if you used our referral code. It does give us a little bit of a kickback, um, but that's really not the reason we're doing it. We do want to, you know, pass on to you guys the savings. Right, right. Hope if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And what should they do? Subscribe to our channel. That's right. And, you know, hit the bell so you get notifications. That way you know when we post new videos and you can stay in the loop with our travels. And we will see you down the road. See you guys. Bye. Bye.